Saturday, DJ Dallas Green, I'm on the Made From Scratch food truck, we got the Biggie playing in the background, FT Rosa 73, you finally made it, congratulations, let's eat. So, we're doing a tribute to the Notorious B.I.G., his birthday is next week, you know, we always do the celebrations before when they, uh, before the uh, celebration is, you don't do it after. So, today I am cooking up a T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch's grape. T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch's grape, dedicated to the George B.I.G. His birthday is next week. Well, why not do it now? So, let's see. So, quick survey of room. Let's quick survey of the room. Let me see. Let's get our DJ in here. Let's see. Let's Real quick. So, real quick, do you guys think he was talking about Welch's grape juice or grape soda? That's the key. Grape juice or grape soda? Just put it in the comments right there real quick and we'll get along with this. I just need to know, grape juice or grape soda? What was he talking about? Juice. I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research on this. Humboldt and Jackson says soda. So this is this is actually the lyric right here. For all of you guys who don't know, the new charge to be IG, a rapper from Brooklyn. The lyric says, plans to leave, throw the keys to little C, pull the truck up front, roll up the next blunt. So we can steam on the way to the telly, go fill my belly. A T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch's great. So, what do you guys say? I got, it's split. Some people are saying soda, some people are saying juice. Now, I did a lot of research. And he is, in fact, talking about juice. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. How do I know that? Because an article published on Complex Magazine in 2016 spoke to a friend of Biggie, uh, and he said this right here. And then another thing, we used to go to the House of Pancakes that was located near NC State, and we used to get a craft of grape juice with cheese eggs and a T-bone steak. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've settled the argument, T-bone steak, cheese eggs, and Welch's grape juice. So, hmm, did I just drop some knowledge on you? But today we'll be cooking up some ribeye, uh, some T-bone. T-bone, if you couldn't find a T-bone like me, you got a porterhouse. T-bone, porterhouse, what's the difference? Well, let me show you. Hey, T-bone, T-bone steaks and porterhouse steaks are the same. Can you believe it? A porterhouse is the king of T-bones. So if you look at the diagram right there, you can see Actually, the T-bone comes from the same place as the porterhouse. The porterhouse actually has more of the filet uh, on that uh, other side. So, there you go. If you weren't able to find a T-bone, guess what? You lucked up if you got the porterhouse. These are today's ingredients. This is what we're doing. So, uh, SNS, request me again. I, I denied it. I wanted to show my... Uh, fancy presentation so request me again and we'll get you in here and we'll get the eats and beats going but for all of those we were talking about <laughs> oh that good old great juice so we're not going to do any alcohol today we're just going to take our ice cube in our cup we're going to shake up our great juice and make a mess and we're just going to pour Welch's juice. Cheers to everyone. All right, let's see. Let's get these out of here. So, are you guys ready to cook? Let me add SNS in here. 
I'm going to leave the questions on real quick. Is everyone good? Everyone good? Let me get these filters out of here. All right. So we're doing our T-bone steak. We're doing our T-bone steak. Cheese, eggs, and Welch is great. Here's our Welch is great. Let's get to our ingredients. So we have two porterhouse. I got my biggie playing in the background. You guys let me know if SNS pops in. Let's cancel that out. All right, I think I got all the questions in. So now I have my porterhouse steaks resting on some paper towel. It is very important that we get all the moisture out of our steaks. I'm going to turn two pans on real quick. Two pans, because I'm doing two steaks. I am great. And yourself, how is everyone out there today? Forgive me, you know, I always throw my back in here. Let me get this phone. All right. See that moisture? We want all that moisture to come out. We don't want any of this moisture. That prevents our searing. So I have my trusty cast iron skillet. You know how I love a good cast iron. So look at that. Look at that. Get all of that moisture out. Freestyle Steve, what's good? We're getting all the moisture out of our steaks. Our pans are on high. We're going to get a nice, nice sear on it. Now, mind you, this is only going to take all together. This breakfast should take us about 20 minutes. Four minutes each side for our steaks. Four minutes for our eggs. Seven minutes for our steak to rest. We cut it up and keep it moving. So if you look at my steaks, my steaks are cut one inch. So it's not going to take that long to cook. So onto our board we go. Now, salt. We're going to season our steaks, as you hear everyone always says, liberally with salt. A lot of this salt is going to come off in the pan. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have this conversation with the wife all the time. Salt, pepper, I just pat it down, get it in there, flip, get up all of that seasoning. We season our second side. Now our pepper. What are you guys drinking today? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I'm drinking our well-debated Welch's juice, great juice, not soda. Sorry, Planet of Brooklyn. Steve, I, my, my DJ canceled out on me. So I am DJ less, but I got the big playing in the background. So we get our pan nice and hot. We need our pan smoking hot. See that smoke? We need that. That's what we need. We're going to get a fast, hard sear. Let's go to the pans. See this pan smoking? This one is getting up to temp. I'm telling you, this, this does not take long at all. Ice coffee, that's a good choice. I'm just going to go some some oil in the pan. I'm on a slant because I'm on the truck. Don't mind it, though. Can you guys see that smoke or no? Can you see that smoke? Okay. That's all I want you to see. Now, this is our porterhouse. Like I said, our porterhouse has more of the filet mignon on one side, the ribeye on the other. Now, all we do, into the pan, 
You hear that? Let me get closer. You hear that? All right. All right, then. So I'm going to go, this is a one inch, so I'm going to go about three to four minutes for medium, medium well. It's all about the sizzle. If you don't have a sizzle, I feel sorry for you. Now I have another smaller cast iron. I'm going to get that on. I'm just waiting for this one to come up the temp and smoke it out. Any questions, comments before we get? I'm, this is a super simple brunch, trust me. Any questions or comments before we move forward? Uh, I'm going to let it work. I'm going to let it work. So, Matt, I'm airdropping plates once I'm done. Once I'm done, I'm going to airdrop some plates. So look at this. Let me, I'll show you in one minute. I'll show you this. It's super simple. Nice hearty breakfast brunch. Matt, just send that, that uh, airdrop request. I got you. That's about two tablespoons of olive oil, a high, has a high smoke point. So you see that smoke. Open the window in your house. Just open that window up. We're going to get our other steak in. Oh. There are so many different summer figures out here. Look at this. Let me get my fork so I can show you guys. Look at that sear. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Now we're going to get our other steak in. So this is about one and a quarter pound. That's a one pound steak. So now what you want to do, I have my aromatic. I have garlic and thyme. This is what all was available uh, at the time. So I actually do not have a spoon. Uh-oh. So guess what? We're going to keep it moving. I'm going to take some butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Let's flip it. Look at that. Beautiful. Now our butter is definitely going to burn because of the milk solid. So we're going to get it in. We're going to take some of our thyme. We're going to hear that crackle. I'm going to get some of our garlic. Now, what I would normally do is baste the steak because you want that flavor all over your steak. I'm trying to see if I can improvise here real quick. Ha -ha. I love when I do this. So, I didn't have a spoon, but on the truck, I found a ladle. So, let's see. Let's see. Oh. It's never about the mess up. It's always how you bounce back. So, as you see, our butter our butter burns because of the milk solid. So it's going to give it a nuttier flavor than regular butter. Oh. So we just baste that real quick. We'll let that go for another two minutes. We'll sip on our great juice, as Biggie said. Um, I'm going, I like my steaks medium. You got it. it has to be medium. Uh, before I got into food, I was a well done uh, person, but then, you know, as you learn, steaks have to have some pink in it. It has to be tender. So, sorry if you just popped in, but we had a debate about what Biggie was talking about. T bone steak, cheese, eggs, Welch is great, and indeed it was not soda, it was Welch grape juice. 
I'm just gonna pour myself another glass. So, now this pan's a little smaller. So, look at this here on both sides. I'll turn my fire off. Turn my fire off, and I'm going to let this steak rest for seven minutes. Now, you hear a lot of people say, let it rest, let it rest, because we need the juices to incorporate. I am currently taking a, a class at Harvard. Uh, Harvard is giving out free classes, nothing special. And, in fact, all foods and proteins will lose juices when you cook them. So, I'm just going to take my steak. I'm putting it on my cutting board. I'm going to check my other steak. Oh, man, look at that sear. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if you look, if you look at, if you look at the live uh, after I finish, I posted a um, couple presentations, and you can see the uh, where the actual information came from. Thanks to Pigeons and Planes, they posted an article on Complex.com. So we're done with this with this one. We're letting this one go for another minute and a half. A super simple brunch that will fill you up and get you on your way. So next up is our A. We'll let that go. Any questions or comments? So when when cooking eggs, you never want to use a stainless steel. And this is just my opinion. A stainless Yes. Yes, Harvard. So uh, you never want to use a stainless steel pan. I personally like a non-stick pan. This is the only pan you will ever buy more than once in your lifetime. If you buy any other pans, they should last your lifetime. So this one I've had for two years. This one I just bought. You can kind of see the difference in the coating. So you want to take care of your non-stick pan. Because when you make the eggs in this, it should slide off nice and easy. So now our second steak is done. So let's get that well rested. Let's get it up. Serum. Serum, don't be. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what I forgot to do? That's why I say it's not about the mistake, it's about how you bounce back. Let's get our butter in this pan. Let's get our basting on. Gotta get our basting on. I'm gonna turn the fire off and baste it. I just want that flavor. Let's get in here. Like I said, I couldn't find a spoon, but I improvised. This is actually the ladle for my chicken and waffles. Look how beautiful that is. You know you got a good sear when you when you add your butter and your sear doesn't come off. That means you did a great job. Now we can take this one out. We take that one off and let it rest. All right. So, like I said, we're doing our T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, welch is great as a tribute to Biggie for his birthday, which is next week. Let's move those out the way. Let's get our pan on. I think this is more room on this side. Questions or comments before I move on? Does everyone eat eggs? That's the key question. Does everyone eat eggs? All right. This is our Eaton Beats Brunch Edition tribute to D.I.G. I'm going to move my steaks out of the way. And let's get back to 
I were little cookie board, cutting board. So I have a plain container. I have four eggs. I prefer two eggs per person. Tofu scramble. Not a tofu fan, but hey, I guess I got to try it sometime. One egg in, two eggs in, three and four. We all know how to count. Now, you got a flavor, right? So just about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Get our fork. Let's scramble that up. All we're doing is whipping air into our eggs. We're just whipping, whipping, whipping air into our eggs. So I'm doing scrambled eggs because we're doing T-bone steak, cheese eggs, and Welch's grape. So for me, that means scrambled eggs with cheese. So I'm going to get my pan on a medium heat. Now I'm going to show you how this, how this non-stick pan works. For those of you who do not know how a non-stick pan works, basically means you can put whatever you want in it. My favorite. Real quick, my favorite cheese is Gouda. Put whatever you want in that pan and it will not stick to the pan. Unlike a stainless steel pan, once you put the protein in it, what happens? It sticks, you see the food on the plate, I mean on the pan, and you're like, oh man, I'm gonna have a hard time cleaning this one. Not with a non-stick. This is my non-stick. Watch how simple this goes. What you want is a spatula, something rubber. Never scratch this with metal. Please do not, do not, do not. Now, how do we get... Now, there are many techniques. Are you a add the cheese before you put them in the pan person, or are you a put them in the... Put the cheese in the eggs after person? So, I'm going to get my butter in here. I'm going to let this melt down. Crushed linen. Let's turn that up a bit. Now you never want to burn your eggs. We don't want brown spots on our eggs. But if you get them, it's all right because we're still gonna eat them anyway, right? Now, in a good nonstick pan, this is going to take no time. Eggs in. So I am a cheese after. So I'm going one slice. I go whole slice. Two and three. Now the heat is going to melt the cheese and it's going to incorporate it nicely. So, Craig G, what's going on? So, the key, look at this, look at that. That's what a nonstick pan does for your life when making eggs. So, I'm just going to break that up and move it around. Now, how do you guys like your eggs? Runny, well done, burnt. I'm anywhere from a runny or loose look at that in this pan it takes no time to do some eggs no time and that gouda melts look at that gouda look how it's melting come on come on you know you got to be able to switch it up in the kitchen all right our eggs so what you can do when you see your eggs coming together like this just turn your fire off you don't want to over burn it residual heat from this pan We'll keep these eggs going. So, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. My wife is a well-done egg person. So I'm going to let these go real quick before I get in trouble. And all I'm going to do now is cut up some scallions while I let my eggs go. Just a few. Keep my peace. Even with the... Matter of fact, type in your favorite big song in the comments right there. 
Put your put your favorite big song in there right there. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Now that residual heat is gonna keep these eggs cooking. Perfect. Perfect scrambled eggs. Incredible one says juicy for the win. So Here's our porterhouse. Let's get to our steaks. Let's get you guys to the steak. So here's our first porter, uh, porterhouse. Who shot your freestyle Steve says. So, as you can see, let me show you this. These are two porterhouse steaks here. I'll show you both of them. So as you see, the, our, our T-bone is the top. We have the bone. So this one actually, this one is like my 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 uh, my beard, right? So the bone isn't until the bottom. So it, it hasn't connected yet in life. So do I use oils for what? Right. So we have our filet mignon on this side, our ribeye on this side. Same thing on this side. So. How I like to do for presentation purposes, we're just going to run our knife down. We're going to cut off the layoff. Cut through that fat right there. Here's our filet. And then we just run our knife, catch that bone, and run it down. And now, you know, I must say, shout out to my guy, Freestyle Steve, because when I was in Miami, he took me to MLK down there. I was like, hey, I need a good breakfast. And Freestyle Steve, I will say, you deliver. You deliver for sure. So here's one. So all we do, cut. You don't want to cut it too small because you don't want it to get cold. Right? So here's our steak. Medium well. Is that good for you guys? Medium well, good for you guys. Let's get this, see if I can put it back together. All right, here we go. That's one. And then this one's a little difficult, so I'm just going to improvise. And cut down. Let's see. Can we even make this one out? So here is our filet. Try not to butcher it up. Just pull that off. Rip these fibers. And then this is all of our ribeye. Now, porterhouse and the T-bones come from the same place. One is just further in than the other. That's why you get more of the filet on the porterhouse. So, let's hurry up and get this going so I can get you guys out of here. Y'all can enjoy this weather. Here's our, here's our little bone, like my, my, like my little beard here. You throw that there. Our filet. Bam. And we put them back together. Humpty Dumpty fell down. Guess what? I got you, Craig G. Now, what's next? We take our plate. I like to use a white plate. It looks very nice. Very classy. Very classy. So, I'm just going to go straight on the plate. In the middle, with my T-bone steak. Let me get a napkin real quick. Just gonna dampen the napkin. Get in the spots that I. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, that's our T-Bone State. Ooh, very good question, Matt. Matt says hot sauce or no hot sauce. That is an excellent question. Uh, let me see. I want a good way to, to get these eggs on here. So I'm going to use an ice cream scooper. All I'm doing is improvising, guys. So I'm going right in the middle with these eggs. This also helps with portion control. So out of my four eggs, that's two. We just clean that up real quick. And then we just garnish with a little scallion. Look how simple that was. Where are we at? We are at the 1230 mark. Now, key question. Is this what Big was referring to when he said T-bone steak, cheese eggs, and Welch's grapes? Look how simple that was, guys. And if you cooked along with me, just take a picture, throw it up, and I will repost it. Our, our favorite question of every brunch, how much would you pay for a dish like this? Just put your answers below. This is a T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch's gravy. What are we doing here? How much is this dish? Ooh, Matt, I don't want no trouble. Just type in how much you think this dish is. 25. Mm. So there's actually a restaurant in New York in Columbus Circle called Porterhouse, where I've had the best porterhouse I've ever had in my life. And just the steak alone, I believe, was $75. Now, this is a T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch's great, made by yours truly and probably made by you, but I won't know until you post this. Anybody need me to airdrop them a dish? Remember, I have another one. If you need me to airdrop it to you, I can. Let me know. All right, I'm going to just sit that right there and let y'all look at that. Why? Oh, why? See, I told you. I'm on the truck, so I got, I got to go containers. I'm on the truck. I am definitely on the truck, so I'm just saying. Somebody said they wanted a plate. Guess what? Now you see how this non-stick pan works? Everything out of the pan. Everything out of the pan on your non-stick. So what you would want to do Take a wet rag with some soap and you clean it right off. And that is the key to owning a non stick pan. Now, here's a good to go plate. I'm just saying. Here's our to go plate. Anybody need this airdrop? Let me know. Don't questions or comments before we wrap it up. That was super simple. Super simple, guys. I'm telling you. I'm all up in your face, all up in your area. So, super simple brunch. A tribute to Big. That's my tribute. A T bone steak, cheese, eggs, roast is great. Once again, for those of you who missed it, how did I come up with this? I came up with this song right here, as we see the lyrics, plans to leave, throw the keys to Little C's, pull the truck up front, roll up the next blunt, so we can steam on the way to the telly, go fill my belly with what? A T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, Welch's grapes. There we go. Now, how did we come to the conclusion that the Welch's grape was not soda, 
as the planet of Brooklyn has forever claimed. I did some research and I found an interview on Complex done by Pigeons and Planes where they reference to a guy who alleges he was a friend of Big when he was in North Carolina doing his thing. And what he mentioned was, we used to go to the House of Pancakes that was located near NC State and we used to get a craft of grape juice. Grape juice, it's right there, that's what he said. A craft of grape juice with cheese, eggs, and T-bone steak. Oh, man. Uh, that's a hard question to ask because everyone in New York City knows that Welch's grape makes soda. So, what did we do? We took our ribeye steak, I mean, sorry, our T-bone steak, which for us, we found, I found porterhouse. So as you can see, the T-bone steak and the porterhouse come from the same region. The porterhouse just has more of the filet mignon because it's more in the center as the T-bone is, is closer to the end of the, uh, the tenderloin. So that's why the T-bone, you'll get a smaller piece of filet. Here were our ingredients one more time, just for those who came in late, tardy to the party. And hey, I, I, I think this was a super simple meal. It took us all of 20 minutes. I'm super proud of you guys. And we'll do this again, what, next week, of course. So any questions or comments before we wrap it up? That's what I'm here to do, Matt. I'm here to solve hip hop's mysteries. So thank you all. East and Beach, DJ Dallas Green. We do this each and every Saturday. I call it brunch. Cook with me. So. Once again, I want to thank everyone also who helped the Made From Scratch food truck, uh, who sent the donations to the GoFundMe. We are feeding essential workers, and we've just added to that list unemployed people that are suffering. So continue to donate, continue to spread the word, please. We have a goal that we need to reach because we're not just doing this once. We are reaching out to many different hospitals. We have five hospitals on deck right now. We're just waiting for scheduling, and we're going to be out in the community. I'm going to bring some celebrities along with me to pass out food, and we're just going to have fun, man. So don't forget to keep this brunch going if you can. If you have not, thanks to everyone who has already purchased a Made From Scratch t-shirt or a Made From Scratch dad hat. Let me see. Let me see. So here's the dad hat. Here's the t-shirt. Uh... And made from scratch nyc.com just click on the order button it will take you to the merch page that's how we keep the brunch going and as always let's continue to have fun and eat together we're going to get through this together we all stuck inside right uh any questions or comments anything you guys want to talk about before we wrap it up Like I said, man, this was a good one. T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch is great. Now, if, if you want to, you can spike the grape juice, but I'm going straight grape juice today. It's supposed to be hot outside. At least that's what they tell me. I'm on the truck. Everybody good? Thank you guys once again. Here is our T-bone steak, cheese, eggs. Well, this is great. From my truck to your kitchen, I want to thank everyone who tuned in. We'll do this again. Don't forget, you can always DM me if you want to make a suggestion on what we should cook together. Don't forget, the merchandise is there. It's available. The GoFundMe is there so we can feed these essential workers and unemployed people. And I'm here. Sizes, we have, I think what's left are large 2X, 3X, and 4X. So the, the small, everything from medium down went super fast. The 2X, they went super fast. So, like I said, thank you guys. DJ Dallas Green, Eats and Beach, cooking with me. Thank you. See you guys next week.